Hey there, welcome back to East Texas Live. You can get your first taste of the Christmas spirit as you stroll the sidewalks of historic downtown troop for holiday in the country. And during that time, shops are going to stay open late. Holiday music will fill the air. Food trucks will be cooking. I'm sure it's going to smell great as well. And Suzanne is the executive director of Troops Community Development Corporation, and she's here to tell us a few of the details about what's going on. If you were to go to Troops Holiday in the Country, tell me more about what's going on. Thank you, James. I appreciate you allowing me to be on the show today. We're very excited again to bring our shoppers and our guests to town in Troop. You'll be shopping for some of the best and most unique things that you not going to see in the box stores, I'm going to say. So I, when you say downtown troop, I think of Duval Street. And that's, that's it. Okay, so that's, that's the same spot? That's it. We start about the railroad tracks, and when you run out of road, you've left downtown. All right, so if, even if you're not familiar with troop, just go to troop. You'll find it. You will find You'll, it. It'll Absolutely. Take you right, whatever road you take into town will take you right to Duval Street. Absolutely. All right. You come from White House, just keep going. So if you, uh, if someone goes to holiday in the country, what makes it different than these other holiday shopping events? It's a very laid back time. Uh, we, we love that about Troop is that, that our entire town is just a little more laid back than everybody else. We enjoy being with each other. We enjoy welcoming guests to, to Troop and that's what this night is all about. We have several things planned that are a little bit different than what we've had in the past. We have a brand new 26 foot Christmas tree. That's that, huge. Yes it is. Yes it is and it's right out in front of our library and we're looking forward to a big lighting ceremony that night and also our library will have their doors open and they're holding a uh, silent auction for many different styles of decorations for your home, for Christmas, for different holidays. And this is something that helps our library uh, with their fundraising efforts. So well, that sounds like a that's going to be a great thing. Aside from a couple of water towers and Tiger Stadium, that's going to be the tallest thing in the entire town is that you tree. You are correct. I got a phone call last night that said, did you know that that tree is taller than the library? And I said, I did not, but we'll be sure and point that out. Well, I think one of the things that might be appealing to myself, and I'm really talking for my wife here, mm -hmm. about going to Troop for a holiday in the country, is, you know, you could go to the mall and get something from a chain store or Cumberland. They're all chains. Yep. That's not what y'all have in Troop. These are one-off stores where you find things that you're not going to find at a national you, chain. You are 100% right. You are 100% right. We have uh, several little shops downtown. Some are very new to our area. Some are well-established businesses that have been there for years. If you've been to Troop, you are very familiar with Steel's Feed and Seed. They've been there. I think they kind of came with the dirt in Troop, you know. <laughs> but uh, but they have the most wonderful choices. It's certainly not just Feed and Seed that they sell there. We'll also have some vendors that are coming from different parts of our area that'll be set up in some of the uh, some of the in empty buildings we have downtown, which there aren't very many of those anymore. But um, there will be lots of things to choose from, and you won't find those gifts at the mall. Off the top of your head, can you name some of the food trucks that are going to be there? Or I is can that... name the exact food trucks that will okay. be there. We will have Spud Station, best stuff ever. We will have a new truck that is called, let me see if I can get this right, All Dogs, Hot Dogs, and Burgers. Something like that. I'm sorry, Arla, I got that wrong. Uh, great food. We also have a taco truck. I believe that Edgar's Big Taco is going to be there. So there will be something to eat for any taste you have. There it is. Yeah, on the screen. All Dog yeah. Dog House, Edgar's Big Taco, Spuds. I've had Spud Station before. You're right. Good stuff. Is it too late for a vendor to reserve a space or is it all full? It may be full. Okay. Uh, if you'll Fair look enough. on our Facebook page or our website, you will see a list of places that we're holding uh, spaces and there may be some still available and you can give them a call. All right, and this isn't like an all season long thing. This happens one day, this coming Monday, 5 p.m. Correct. And it'll give you a reason to go to Troop besides a football or basketball game. Correct. All right, yeah. TroopCDC.com has all the info you need. TroopCDC.com.